everybody. This is your host, Kyoko Hoshi and Echo Valediction. Hello, hello. We're going to be doing some, I guess, some how-tos. Yeah, uh, for beginners, for creatures of Scenaria. We're going to do some videos. That, mainly it's uh, kind of more of, like, me kind of showing Bullying Echo. Me. I'm not going to bully you. <laughs> I'm not talking about. You will learn one way. <laughs> you will learn the right way or you'll get the heck out of my house. But uh, yeah, we're going to do some uh, kind of like showing you guys or telling you guys um, good ways of, you know, how to start off in the game if you're confused by some things and also me showing her how to uh, as well. Get some, oh no, it's I cold. I definitely don't know how to do anything and I suck at video games immediately. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess we'll start with step one. Um, so for, for, um, what is it? I guess, oof. uh, what, actually, what's on your screen? Because I know when you start off, you have, I think there's two creatures you can select. Yes. I'm seeing a breast break walkway. Okay, this creature right here. The pack healer. That's their uh, ability. Flying bird, flying bird like creature that can explore and socialize easily yep and then we have a Lysilicious. you might be able to say these names better than i can because i can't I, can. I mean i'm just saying them as i assume okay uh strong herbivore can defend itself and fight other creatures what do you mean herbivore that thing's a carnivore uh it says on here strong herbivore and we look at the same. List L I S S I C E O U S. Yeah, that's a carnivore. Uh, it says herbivore, unless there's a they messed up. It does. It does have the, sharp the, teeth. The bird is a herbivore, but the other one's a carnivore. Uh, it says herbivore on my screen. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. I have to look at your screen later because I want to see that now. That's funny. Well, uh, you can choose whichever. Basically, uh, I think. When you choose one, it's the one that you're going to have um, when you're starting out. So there is the bird and there's this one. Which one do you want to be? Um, I think the lizard looks... I mean, I like the idea of flying and uh, e exploring. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't like the design versus I like the lizard that looks cooler. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be a big fighter. So I'm just going to go with what I think is cooler looking. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm pressing play. Okay. Oh, right. well. Ugh. Ah! There's a bunch of stars. Explosion. <laughs> okay, so when you first start off, you get to choose those. Uh, you get to choose two creatures. I guess I'll choose the same one that she uh, that she picked, so I can help. Oh no, you should do the other one. So do the other we one. Can, should, yeah, well, so we can see what the other one looks like. Oh uh, well. I mean. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see what the other one looks like right away, okay. but yeah. Okay. Well, let me go back to the menu. Oh yeah. Also, um. For a lot of people, when you're, uh, oh gosh, we have a lot to, there's a, like a lot to talk about for starting this game because they I'll have. Just start with the beginning stuff. Like if it's, it's something so many... that's not going to come up till later, then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me get the. Just, the... Yeah. Cause I do that a lot too. When I'm trying to explain something, I think ahead. I'm like, oh yeah, later you're going to have to do that. But let's just, um, live in the moment. Live in the moment. Okay. Well, um, so there's stuff, uh, the currency for in this game, there's a currency called, uh, mushrooms. So, um, at the bottom, you'll see that there's, like, this little mushroom that'll show you how much money you have. Uh, and that's your main game currency, uh, for, for that. And, um, you can use that for going to the trade world. That will go to as well later. And you can go and, uh, trade stuff with people. You can also trade creatures, because some people might be wanting creatures from you. What, and whatnot, but mush, main currency for trading, and also... For whenever you go to the gotcha system which we'll also show that as well and you can buy yourself creatures out of the gotcha system which will have echo choose uh well i think you can only go through the first one we'll figure we'll find that out all right when we get to that uh one. let's start with the designing aspect because that's where we are um okay so i see like a bunch of stuff um female male is that a big difference um, female. So for, uh, for some people, females, um, not for some people, females in this creature are the only ones who can lay nests. So if you want to have, like, other players join your nest or your friends to join your nest to be that creature, that's how you do that. It wipes your current creature, so if it's a creature that you really want to continue playing as, and, um, or a glimmer of that creature, 
that you have, which we will go over glimmers. Um, it's don't don't do it. <laughs> don't. Okay. There's like a thing that pops up at the bottom that says, "Do you want to um, be this?" Then then you click no or yes. And for males, so there's is there a... any? Oh, sorry. Oh no no no, you're fine. What? Is there any better? Is well, I want to hear what you say about the male first before I ask my question. Uh, for males, they're the only ones who can lay down food storage. So if you you know you. I guess because I don't I don't really know if people uh, role play in here. But I'm assuming some do. I think some some do role play in creature scenario. Um, the males, if they want to put like a bunch of food in there, they can go gather food and put it into the storage, and they can take food without out of it. And I think if you join a pact, you can also take food out of it. And are those the only benefits of like choosing a different gender? Pretty Otherwise, much. Otherwise, it's just preference. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's mainly preference. But if you want to nest someone, you can do that. If you want to um, uh, just make food storage, that's the other one. So yeah, just just preference, really. So going through the designing process, the first thing I have on mine is paw pad, and I'm seeing like a neon blue. And there's this thing that says one and two. Uh, what's the thing that says one out of two? Uh, I don't know what, the, what it is. When I hover over two, it says, um, as Alicia, swim for ten minutes. Oh gosh, what are you looking at? Are, did you press K? I haven't gone past... I, I don't even know what the two you were talking about. It's above the brightness slider. There's a one and a two. I have no clue what you're talking about with a brightness slider. Let me share my screen real quick. Yeah, the, t show me what you are doing currently on your. <laughs> oh Oops. gosh, I forgot you're still in the gosh darn menu. Yes. <laughs> you're still in the menu. Forgive me. Oh, okay, you're one and two. Uh, so the one I'm and two. I'm literally starting from like the beginning. Like, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so in the menu, the one and two, there is um, at uh, color palettes. You have your first color palette, which every creature has their very first color palette that's automatically un automatically unlocked. And then you have the second color palette, which hover over this number two. Um, you have to swim for ten minutes in order to unlock that creature's second color palette. So I have to unlock it. So I, yes. can I not change the color right away now? Oh, I mean, you can use the colors that are in that little section down there, underneath okay, the brightness. So these are you can. All Yes. Okay. You can so pick these are those the colors. colors. I can use. Yes. Ah, you can make okay. them darker or brighter. All right. So let me go through this then. Now that I know what that's about. Yes. I was confused. I was like, I want to be purple. No. Um. Every creature has a base uh, color palette, so you cannot change the color palettes. There's a couple of things in the game where it's called a glitch that some people are able to achieve where, the, like the background you have right there, they're able to uh, select the purple out of that background magically by using the uh, the color picker um, oh, that's there hmm oh i figured it out yeah i ro i'm rotating with right button and i'm zooming in and out with left yeah well yeah it's only just click one click. yeah you kind of like click out of it as long as you're not select if you're not selecting the color picker or the bucket you can go click on the outside and zoom in and zoom out all right so there isn't much i can do right away it looks like <laughs> Except accidentally turn everything the same color. Just, Oops. just make it white. I didn't well, know light that, blue. Like, so if I, I click the color, then I click... What I like to do when it comes to coloring, I tend to uh, click the bucket. Whenever I'm about to select something else, I'll click the bucket, click the color, uh, uh... and then click the object that I want. Okay. That, that's yeah, a I... different way if you want to go like extra detail like that. But for selecting different colors in the list, um, I select a color, click, I click the bucket, select a color, and then press, like, claws. I want the claws to be blue, but every yeah. time I pick another color, it turns to the other color, so I do that. Yeah, I was definitely doing that backwards. I was clicking on the part that I wanted to change the color, and then I was, it was just automatically doing it the way you just described. So <laughs> yep, I was yep. confused. That's why everything turned white. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, just color everything black for now because i like dragging over it more oh god well the th the benefits and unbenefits of um doing the selecting and stuff like that because i'm i'm thinking about doing a color uh video at some point um is that whenever you do that sometimes you might accidentally miss a spot that you would not have noticed unless you actually make the whole uh, creature that one color 
-huh. Like, start off with your base color first, and then you go off of that. Um, because sometimes you, you, you don't realize it until it's too late. Like, you end up getting a really pretty version of it at the end, a glimmer. And then uh -huh. you're like, gosh dang it, I didn't fix that. I didn't see that. No! Alright, so yeah. let me go and let's... I wanna, I'm going to click on this color, and I want the teeth to be that color. And then I want... Uh... The eyes? The eyes are already that color. Cornea. Let's make the eye... Oh, no. Nope. Remember what I told you. Select the bucket. Select the bucket? Yeah, select the bucket, pick a color. And then go to it. Not... Yeah, there you go. Because if you... Because that's that's how it helps hold me. Because every time I go and <laughs> click colors, it just goes everywhere. Pupil. Primary coat. I believe that. Let's do frills. Okay, cool. I want them to be that color. Uh, uh, probably speed through this a little bit. Yeah, we got a lot to go through. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and then I guess after I've done all that, I press play? Yeah, go ahead. Press play. Oh no, frills. Hmm. Where are my frills? You, you're a baby. Uh oh. I'm so a baby. whenever you're actually making your character and stuff, that's literally you playing with what you'll look like as an adult. Okay. Yeah. You start off as a baby, and then you have to age up. So that's another thing. Age. Um, for all beginners, you do age up. That's how you become your max full version. So whenever you're looking at creatures in the menu. And whenever you're customizing them, that's literally you customizing what your adult form will look like. And once you start the game, you'll be like a small baby. Uh, well, some creatures are way too big and they're like big babies. But um, you'll be a baby, then you'll reach teenager, and then you'll reach uh, adult. And um, if you want to look at your information, you can press K. And K shows you um, your stats. Okay. That you, um, that you have and that you will have. Uh, most likely so like for max health uh, for my creature is max health base max health is 300 but um, I have a health mutation so my max health is actually 330 because I have a mutation my speed also has a mutation. a mutation mutation you only get mutations when you reach uh, adulthood so once okay. you reach a um, hundred that's the max age once you reach yeah. 100, uh, you will get your final, if you get a mutation. It's not guaranteed that you'll get a mut mutation. There's a percentage of it, but I don't really remember um, off the top of my head what the percentage is of getting a mutation. But um, you can get a speed. Oh, I'm going to go hide inside of a building. Okay. I'll Do I need to hide because it's raining? Um, Sometimes. If there's a tornado that shows up, then yes. Um, okay. So uh, you can get a max health. Uh, max speed and sometimes if you have bleed um, you can get a mutation on those health uh, speed can you and go over that. what the um, controls are because when I opened the menu I saw something that said glide I don't know what that is um you since you're since you're a creature that walks on the ground you can't glide okay. um, gliding is only for creatures that are flyers or um, all t terrain those are the only creatures that can really necessarily glide Right. Um, so gliding, uh, whenever you're, okay, I guess I'll have to show my screen for that part. Yeah, um, you... so when you're gliding, you press F. That is for when you want to just regain your stamina and just fly around. That's what you do when you glide. Just like this. And then okay. whenever you want to go back to flying, you press F again and you'll start flapping your wings and you can go back to flying. And of course your stamina bar down here will start to go down. So that's what that is for for glide Boop. and then it says, the norm hmm? it says e to interact but it looks like i can also interact by just clicking on something um so e uh e is to interact with uh like the food if you want to drink something you press e 
to mm -hmm. um well more of hold it you kind of just hold e in order to okay. um hold and you'll see your little thirst bar will start yeah well, thirst droplet will start to go up and then for food um depending on what you are because there's different types of eaters in this game you have herbivores you have carnivores and you have omnivores and photovores so for you you're a carnivore so you need to eat meat so uh the best place for you to go and eat meat is fish and I those, find those in like a lake yeah you can go find them in the water okay. you just have to like go underwater and uh you'll eventually see some fish around there's i wish i could show you each spot because there's a lot of spots <laughs> where fish show up but um, i'm underwater right now but you should be able to find some fish can i is there like a breathing underwater thing or am i gonna drown um, no oh. since you're uh i think since you're semi-aquatic semi-aquatic creatures don't drown um as in uh your stamina bar doesn't just deplete and keep depleting unlike me uh yours will like deplete slightly but then it'll go right back to being um filling back up for you since you're okay. semi-aquatic because you can be on both land and in water me i'm a flyer so the moment i go into the water i my stamina will just keep going until it's all gone and i'll drown all right i'm time finding fish oh and you can press shift to run underwater which oh. is to swim faster okay, which that cool. does deplete your stamina by the way i see that yes yep 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 yep, yep. um how i am having a hard time finding oh, fish boop, though oh, oh, I, my hunger oh, starting ah, to go down glitch. Yep, you gotta you gotta find that food. You can't. Uh, H is a button you press whenever there's a carcass and water source. So for you, if there's like a um, meat sitting around, you can press H to see if there's any meat, and you'll see like a red stream, um, leading H? you towards the H. Horse H, and then um, if you see a blue stream, that's it telling you where water is. Okay, okay, I see a blue stream. I don't see any. My hunger's getting low. Okay, um, press, press M. Press H. Press M. Press M, that's the map. Okay. I'm uh, in the swamps heading towards the plains. Okay. I I will guide you. <laughs> go, go to the plains, I'll meet you there. Okay. My hunger is almost, like, very empty. Yeah, let's just, just get to the plains. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's another thing that you guys can use is to press M to find uh, out different areas. Because there's a lot of places in here currently. Well, it's a lot, but uh, definitely during beta, the place was a lot bigger than it is now um but there's a lot of places you can still go and so that you don't lose your way if people are like oh we're at the oasis you can press m you can look you see desert oasis and you can just go right over there okay i'm are you i'm in the plains now okay i gotta find out where you are in the plains you said you came from the swamp so let me look at the uh Hmm? I just had like, oh, I think I grew up a little bit. I just had spikes grow in. It was like oh, a. Oh, I found a mini wee. Down. Mini wee. It's Am I going to die being hungry? Yes. Whenever uh you everyone make sure you always pay, pay attention to your meat, and your food and your hunger and your water because you can die. Okay, I'm I'm literally looking for Anything? you and I do not see you. I just killed something for you to eat and I'm trying to look for you. Um, I'm pressing H, and I'm not getting the little... Because you said he came from the swamp to the yeah. plains. Okay, there's, so what do you like see? A, there, I, near that lake that's in between the swamp and the plains. Oh, you're near the big lake. Okay, I'm coming over there. I'm having red show up on my screen. Yeah, that's, used, that's telling you that you're dying. Uh, I'm having... I've scratched... I'm Bradley Hurt? Yes, because you're hungry. I'm I'm here at the big lake in between the swamp Coming. and the plains. I don't see you. In, you're not on any of these little mini islands in the middle. Uh, I don't see... And that is a flying dev creature. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. Um, uh, I'll swim over to the little island. Oh, is that you? I'm flying around. Yeah, I see something flying. I'm on yep. the beach. You're on I the beach. I think I did. I died. Oh, I see your meat. Oh no! 
Well, there you yeah. go, guys. That's what it looks like when you die, and then you just turn into a big chunk of meat <sighs> in, under the sea. I shouldn't have started with a carnivore. I didn't find any fish. Well, uh, come back as the carnivore, and I'll I'll, sh I'll show you. Oh come my God, this. Okay. Yeah, just come back. I'll 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 help you out. Just come back to the plains, that area that she was at earlier. It says this creature is dead. Yep. That uh, whenever your creature dies, it is it is dead, dead. So, um, you can get them back. Oh, I have to go to an empty slot? Yeah, you have to go to a new empty slot. But, uh, okay. for creatures, you can get your creature back if you can get tokens. Um, so, so in order to actually get be able to get a token, like one token, you I believe you have to, um, sell 25 of your, of your, 25 creatures. So if you have, like, spares, duplicates, you can sell those for a token. And then eventually, or token tech, to I can't, I think it's token. It was token, I saw. Yeah, I think it is. And, um, All right, then... back by the desert. Oh, you're in the desert now? Or, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same spot. Okay, well, just come back to the area you was when you yeah. died. Um, um... I see a pink thing in, on the cliff. I don't think that's you. A pink thing on the cliff? There's a big monster. No, I'm not pink. I'm on the little island in the big lake. Oh, great, it's raining. It's going uh, to be hard to fly. Oh, I see you. Right? I oh, there you are. Okay. Help me. Okay, come, just come on. Yeah, um, let me finish explaining the tickets. So if you want to bring your creature back, you need uh, tickets in order to do so. And um, you can also buy them with Robux, and you can buy the token. There you go. You can eat that meat. Um, eat your, eat your leftovers. <laughs> eat your remains. Is this my dead body? Yeah, that's your dead body. You can just, you just eat it. <laughs> Am I doing it? I'm holding E. Yes. Um, oh, I, I kind of, cool. in a way for me, I kind of cheat at it in a way. I kind of rapidly press E so that I can just keep eating and, um, instead of being stuck in the animation. Because sometimes you get stuck in the animation. <laughs> sometimes. Um. I'm completely full since I'm a wee bab. You wee bab? Okay. Wee bab. All right. Back on track. Yeah, what back is, on oh, track. Oh, so wait. Come here. Yes. What is that up there that's kind of watching? That is an NPC. This, uh, when you're in private servers, NPCs tend to be a lot more active. So, He's they, um... following us. Yeah, they will follow you until they, until they murk you. Until they, until oh, they cool. get you. But right now he's stuck, so he can't really come down but that's actually the dev creature that's the new dev creature that's currently out okay actually I uh, can... what does it say to call to quick create a pack what's up what is... why am i getting oh it's gone uh i i had i had done the pack thing okay. but it doesn't it really matter it. because i technically can't be in a pack with you because you're semi-aquatic oh and also, I think you're a different tier level than me. What is, uh... Okay. Uh... Explain packs, then, to okay. me. Okay. Well, uh, I already explained the tickets somewhat. You can buy tickets for Robux. You can sacrifice creatures to get to bring your creature back. So, if your creature dies, you have a chance to bring them back. Um, yeah. So, there's a chance of that. Uh, let me get done with the stored one. Uh, there's stored Wait, versions. how do I get rid of this? How do I- I clicked- I pressed 2. How do I make the pop-up go away? What do you mean? A carnivore pack creator. Choose your type. How do I make this- uh, uh, I believe you can just away. click on the empty side and it should go away. If not, then you can press- Oh, um, I just clicked the button. It yeah, there should be a button, okay. yeah. Um, okay. but, uh, there's also, um, if you make a creature, you can store them. For later so if you guys want to store creatures that is how you do that you store them and um, if you buy stored creatures of a creature you do not own that is a one that that is a one lifer as in like if that one dies and you don't have tickets or anything for it that that's it so you can't just make a new one but if you own the species you can make multiple if you don't own the species and you buy a stored one that's that's basically it um, for that creature um, uh, packs. So packs are basically only for like you know when <laughs> when uh you just want to be in a formation with other players. I believe I think that if you're in a pact with a creature that is a higher tier than you, like I'm a tier one creature, 
if I stand next to a tier 5 creature or higher than just me, my tier, I get uncomfortability. And when you're in a pact, uh, uncomfortability, I believe, actually goes away if you're in a pack with them. I believe that's how that one functions. I don't actually get to use packs that much, so. Um, is this food bad? Is that why it's... Uh, yes, the food is bad. You can eat it, you just get hurt from eating it. Gotcha. Yes. If the food right. starts being stinky, you get hurt from eating it. So I look at some of there's so there's calls one two three and four and then there's actions I can sniff set nest drag food grab lay power graze I know there's some short shortcuts to do those um as well. it's just just press K just press K uh huh and you can see all your stats and it shows you your actions don't okay. really press the action button to be honest with you because whenever you're pressing the action button you're actually accidentally pressing the attack button which is just the to the was it the left click oh okay yeah and yeah. it's not really good when you end up pressing the actions button trying to click actions and that's how i was able you... to drag that food though yeah well that if you want to do that that's fine but i'm saying with other players they might attack yeah. you and kill you because they think that you're attacking them gotcha always remember that so you can press k to use the ones that they show on there for I'm aggro power all that stuff i broke the game Did you see me <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a glitch. If you go in the water and you come back out of oh. the water, you can um, you can sometimes stay swimming. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. I'm swimming. <laughs> I'm huge now. <laughs> so um, for other things in the game, uh, there's uh, what is it? Um, the other basics, a uh, gotcha system. We'll have to actually go to the menu and do that, but uh, do okay. you um do you want to become bigger or what? Yeah, let me uh, get to um, Elder Age. Okay. And then we hunt. So then we Lord have mercy. How long is this? Oh, the meat's gone. I am at half hunger now, so I must go find food. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, come over here. Right, Follow me. We. Apapa we. Oh. Oh god, so fast. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> keep going, keep going, come on. I'll I'm show you the, the way of the fish, huh? I'm roaming the wild. <laughs> yeah, you are roaming the wild. Okay, into the water. Alright, I'm in the water. Follow me. Oh. Where are you? Over here. And you can go down and find yourself some fish. You should be able to. If there's no oh, fish. I see fish. Oh, okay. God. The fish is hurting me. Yeah, they attack. Ah, ah. Fish don't play. Fish don't play. <laughs> fish don't play in this. Okay, so I have to kill it first with the attack button? Yes. You can use the uh, left click attack button. That's how you guys attack. And that's how you um, start beating up people. That's how I attack these fish? Oh. Yep. And once you attack them, press H again so you can smell for the meat. Yeah, I found it. Okay. Because sometimes the meat likes to spawn, like, somewhere. <laughs> okay. How do I just drink this water? You cannot do that. You need to kind of go out of the... You have to uh, press H and follow the blue stream because there's certain spots that you can actually drink from. You can't actually just be in the water and drink from it. I'm there's... stuck in the world. How do you do that? Okay, I'm fine. I'm like, you just... Alright. Just... No. Alright, <laughs> I see some water. I just swam so fast I flipped <laughs> through the hill. Uh, how do I get to water? Once you literally get used to the game, you'll basically understand like where each water place that you can actually drink from. Because literally you can't drink from the... You can't drink oh. from the ocean. I'm drinking. Hey, drinking. I'm drinking. Mm, drink. Drink, drink. Get some of that water. Alright, okay, okay. I'm full and I'm drinking and I'm half halfway aged. Okay, good. I'm having good. a hard time getting out of the water, though. Uh, sometimes it's pretty frustrating. Sometimes you have to do, like, uh, what I call the wiggle. 
All right. And sometimes you just have to remember spots that are easier to get out of the water. Can you only find fish in salt water? You know, I honestly can't say that this would be considered salt water. But, um, I don't know if they have that type of... But you were saying the ocean and... Well, like, it's I basically like water. the ocean. The, uh, okay. is what I like to classify it is the ocean. The big water areas. Oh, there you are. The big water areas. They, you you can, usually can't drink from big water areas. You can only drink from usually smaller bodies of water. Um, but what did you say again? What did, what did you ask again? What was I saying? I was saying asking about the water thing because of the fish. Because when I first was trying to find fish, I couldn't find any. But I was also in an area where I could drink the water. Um, you can usually only find fish in the bigger bodies of water. Okay. Is the main spots. Um, sometimes they're fly. uh, like uh, this place over here. Follow me. Tiny. I'm not gonna fly until I need to, which is now. Get up here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, run around. <laughs> Use them legs. Uh, I can't jump. No, there's no jump button. That'd be kind of cool if they had a jump button. But um, in this lake right here, mm -hmm. there's a hole at the underneath it, and uh, there's a body of fish down there. So okay. it's technically like a lake on top of you know the big body of water. So, but that's a place that also has fish. And whatnot, but yeah, they're mainly found in big bodies of of, of water. I, I just went and ate some fish. Yeah, good. Get, get your you gotta you gotta Are get you, that vitamins. So you keep telling me how to eat for um, carnivore. How do you how do you eat? I eat um, vegetables. So um, on your screen, you can see just like a thing of meat. So that basically lets you know that you're a carnivore. Um, for your your status, what you eat. Is, is me. For me, um, I have berries on my little icon that's near my stamina and stuff. And yeah. that just tells me I'm a herbivore. Uh, when you're a photovore, it shows like a sun icon with meat or a sun icon with the, um, with the, the fruit next to it. And that's when you know you're a photovore. If you're an omnivore, then it shows you the fruit and the meat. So that's... Uh -huh. hmm? So you just eat like the little berries on these little trees. Yep, I can eat the berries on the trees, or um, there's seaweed on, in the water. I can eat the seaweed, but um, mm. I wouldn't recommend me trying to do that because I can't swim. So <laughs> I would die before I can eat the and seaweed. And so the photovore, they can eat what again? Uh, photovores are creatures that need the sun. So photosynthesis, photovore. So if so, they just exist and they're eating. Or yeah, they right? don't need. Oh. Uh, so if you're a photo carny. You need sunlight and meat. I grew up again. If you're a photo herbivore, then you just need sunlight and water. You don't okay. even you don't need to actually eat like the berries. Stuff like that. So, that's how that functions for photovore and photo uh, for photo carny and photo herbivore. One needs just water and sun, one just needs the blood of your enemies and sun. <laughs> So that's how those function. And um, also, whenever you're playing the game, you uh, acquire mush. I forgot to talk about that part. You acquire mush. Yeah, I see um, some. So I believe, how many? I think it's five mush per, five, is it five mush per? I'll probably post a picture of the information about that. I just, got, I just um, went from 85 to 90, so. Yeah, I think it's five mur mush per five minutes or per two minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll again I'll post a picture uh, for you guys to see um, about that because uh, you can actually get 1k mush if you sit in if you sit in the game for 24 hours if you play the game for 24 hours you can what get 1k um, if you want to do it that way um, how do I check like my health what do you mean? like is there a health bar um, there's a health yes uh, if you look at all the way in the middle bottom of the screen that okay. long green bar that is your health how and it just regens uh, uh yes uh so okay. there's ways of regenerating your health um sometimes there's creatures that there's i think there's a creature that has a uh, passive ability to just regenerate um but if you get bitten by something and you're you know you're hurt the, the 
main way is to either uh, I think I think mud piles help with that. Mud, okay. I think I mean, mud piles help with keep, that. These fish keep biting me, but um, I seem to be at yeah. Pro. You can you can heal yourself back up naturally. Uh, and it also helps if you sit down or lay down or if you sit in a mud pile because uh, some creatures. Huh? Oh, the the bottom to the buttons button. sit is R. If you want to sit down, it's R. If you want to, you know, sleep, it's Y. If you want to roll in the mud piles, um, it's N. And you have to hold down N whenever you're in a mud, uh, a mud pile. And for the mud oh, piles, cool. you can um, cover your scent. So when you have, when you're walking around, you see your little footprints. The mud yeah. pile helps cover that for a certain period of time, as well as helping you with like, uh, I think, getting help. Eaten. Yeah, so you don't get found out as fast. And I think it also helps with healing, or it helps with getting rid of certain, like, negative effects you get from some creatures. Because some creatures can give you a bunch of abilities, which that is a whole nother video to go on about abilities. Okay. Yeah, that, that, I, I was that's thinking, like, as you were talking, I was like, there might be uh, a two parts of this, because there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on that. Um... um. Oh, and there's also aging, which is that I already have a video on aging, if you guys want to understand about elder aging. Um, so when you get older, basically you just kind of, um, have stats, you have good stats and negative stats and you get slightly bigger than your original form, just very slightly bigger. Hmm. So that's pretty much all that is to the elder form of that. And, um, when you reach a hundred, there's a thing that can happen, which is called a glimmer. And I will have to do, we'll have to do another video all about glimmers, but, okay. um, but the, you have a chance of getting a glimmer, uh, which is basically just a shiny. You're just a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> That's about it. I feel it. like I have a lot of questions too, like as we're going, because um, mm -hmm. uh, I've already forgotten how to unlock more colors. For that one, you need to swim for ten minutes. Okay. You gotta you gotta swim for that. for That's ten minutes time. and then do that. And also, we have to have, make a video about weather. So there's a lot to go on. <laughs> and stuff yeah, weather so, so abilities part one yeah yeah but um, um do you want to yeah, go so... check out the gotcha and stuff like that for making money at least yeah. like, at least showing the basics of that you're also gonna have to go over like what's it like to be in multiplayer because i'm assuming that it's a oh yeah multiplayer is a heck of a lot different so doggy, probably, yeah dog, doggy dog world yeah multiplayer is a whole different world so public servers fun you can uh, not, not public servers private servers private. are fun because you get to just chill and hang out only thing you have to worry about is the annoyance of the npcs that can actually walk around and kill you um for uh, public servers people attack just to attack i mean uh there's kosers uh people that just bite you just to bite you uh there's some friendly people in there that don't bother you whatsoever um and then the npcs don't attack you they kind of just stand there and just kind of like take it <laughs> in in public okay. servers but let's go ahead and go to the menu so i can at least show you the gotchas right. uh how do i there's a button that says menu just press it and then just wait because you have to wait um i think it's 10 seconds until you yes, menu. I see. do not move yes i get that yeah i understand that from most mmos i like that yeah. if you move then it uh cancels it all right so now, the menu go to buy I've got 100 mush now all right, go to buy creatures. We're gonna we're gonna see what you get. Buy creatures. Yeah. Okay. Click buy creatures, and this is the the gotchas for different okay. creatures. So we have the first one's a random gotcha. You get whatever comes out of this one. You get basically all the creatures that's in here. Um, that's okay. not that's not dev creatures. Any creature that's not a creature of Robux is in the random one. This okay, uh, that's the only one I have access to. Yeah. The other ones say locked. Yeah, the other one. In order to unlock the other gotchas, you have to have a majority of certain of, of creatures. You have to have a good percentage of creatures in order to unlock them. So. Ooh, there's some yeah. really cool ones in here. Ooh. And you don't even have the secret mission creatures yet, so that's those other creatures you can unlock in here as well. All right. So it says it's 35. So maybe I'll do. Uh, is mush? Is this the only thing? I... I should save my mush, or I should just go ahead and do I it. I mean, go time. ahead and try out getting uh, your uh, your first new creature. Alright. Click me to spin. Whoa. <laughs> I kind of wonder what oh, you're going to get. It. Yeah, you have to keep clicking it, yeah. Pokeball. Pokemon. I've got a Wishtoria. 
Wistoria. What? Uh, brain. W Y S. I know what that is, but my brain is like. Um. You know, let me go back and let me look at my stuff. Wistoria. It kind of looks like. Uh, uh, w. Gecko. Huh? It looks like a horn gecko. It might not help. I. Uh, oh. Oh, that creature. It, 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 if you go back to your uh, main menu and you can go see what it looks like, it's definitely not a gecko. <laughs> I can show you a gecko. Oh, okay. It looks yeah. more like a bat now. Does it look okay. like a bat to you? Its ears look like a bat. Its face looks like a gecko. It's got tails like a bird. <laughs> it's got a cute little mouth that goes, ah! <laughs> It looks more like a bird, if anything, like a phoenix, because it's got the little feathers. I'd say it's a herbivore. Okay. Well, Mysteria. A that... skittish small herbivore. They can be found in small herds of five to seven. They enjoy eating fruits and berries. You can find. I love that you actually open. read the that you actually read the description. I... <laughs> not many not people No, not many people really read them. Oh. When frightened, Mysteria will bunch together because... and make loud calls hoping to scare predators away yeah because it's, it's just is that uh, for that for the their description it's literally just the lore no one actually does this <laughs> it's just there to be the lore of the, I mean, of I the creature even, i didn't read the other one let me read it real quick i'm not gonna read it out loud uh they prefer to go in the dark jungles like cameras okay and cool. you said you wouldn't read it loud i just i skimmed it i wanted to read <laughs> I wanted to see what the height difference was too. Like uh, this one's a little bit smaller. You the one that you were playing was so tiny. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Jeff next to it. That basically lets you know how small and how big things are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what Jeff is. So that oh, one's yeah. a pretty small creature, just like mine. Mine is smaller than that creature. Mhm. Mm that bird I was playing. Um, go ahead and click the trade world. That'd be the next place we'll go to. Okay. And do a small description of the toy world. It's Wade World. Wade World. We'll do another video of us going to a public server and letting you experience. Yeah, we can a do that. On a... Surfer. <laughs> that's a whole actually, another creature. I just want to collect them all, like Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I want to do too. But some of the creatures are very hard to get, and which that's another. Yeah. All right. I'm climbing over people. Where are we in the same? Room? Yeah, we're in the same one. You can look on the side, and you can see names on the right side. Uh, there you are. There. We're gonna get you some digs. We're gonna, we're yeah. gonna make you. We're I don't gonna, have any digs yet. We're gonna, wait, wait. Stand right there. I just want to want. Do I? <laughs> just jump on top of my head. Can I do that too? Yes. Oh. All right. Get off me. Uh, all right. So, um, this is the marketplace. This is the trade world. You can come here. As you can see, people are like looking for mini wees, looking for um, arsenos, kindles, mini wee mini, mini wee fins. Um, people looking for a warden. No, well, people are trading. More like people are trading for these things. So people say trading for this. Person saying trading a door and 4K for a jot. There's a lot of stuff you can do. In here, you can sometimes you can actually go around and just click people and uh, see if they might trade you something. And you can just go like that, or you can if people are nice, you can go around saying hey. So, hey, basically, as I'm understanding it, is it this all through talk like if you want to trade you talk to somebody sometimes there's, you don't there's not, it's not like is there really like a menu or anything or uh you just... no you you just like like you see like the little um you can come up to me and you see the little e or whatever yes. you just kind of you just kind of click that and i can click accept or ignore wait what are you doing i want to see what it looks like oh you want to oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I just so, to see what the menu looks like. Well, on the top is like me. I can give this, mm -hmm. or I'll give you that, and then you can, and then you can click the icons again to take them out. Okay. Um, and then at the um, top of that is coin amount. You go up there and you just type in a number, and you can put in like mushrooms. Yeah, the amount of mushrooms. I'll give you one shroom for those three thousand. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have more questions. What? Um, okay. So, wait, can we open the menu? Up? I like, I'm a visual learner, so I want to look yeah, at it. Yeah, okay. go ahead. So, in my, what is that? Stocks? I can't read it because the stuff is covered. Unlocked. Okay. Unlocked and stored. So, I, I only have the two. When I give those away, do I lose those creatures forever? Yes. If Am I, I give you this. The whole... 
am I losing the whole species or am I just losing that specific creature? You lose creature? the species. Okay. You and then you have to get again. So like this, um, I had made the quite big mistake during the Valentine's Day one when I was mm -hmm. first getting into the game. So for anyone that does that, uh, species, uh, it's trading. Whenever you see it says species, then the name, that's when you know it's the species. If it looks like this, it just says flyleaf, that is the stored version of it. You can hover on top of it and see that it says that, it's, that, that it has its stats. Versus whenever you do a species. Species, you don't get that information. Oh, stored, you, that. you get that information of the age, the health, glimmer, male. That, and and that's they, how it is. What does it mean when they're stored? Stored is a one lifer. So if you get a stored one, that means if you do not own the actual species, that's the only one you have. If it dies, oh, okay. you can't get another one of it. Okay, okay, I get that. Okay. Yeah. Because when you when you have the creature, the species, you can make multiple. If you have a stored version, you can't make multiple. See, and this makes a lot... You've talked about this outside of this, but like actually me seeing it, like I'm a visual learner, as mm -hmm. I have just said, mm -hmm. that helps a lot. I get it now. Okay. Well, I'm glad that helped you out. And hopefully yeah. that helped out everybody else because, like, seriously, you can get scammed really bad and it will really hurt you, especially during an event where there's a creature that you really, really want and someone just gives you the stored version and you give them so much mush for it. Yeah. And then you end up finding out that it's a stored one once you, you're all, like, adrenaline's pumping. You finally go back to the, the, the menu to look at your creature and then you find out it's a stored version. That happened to me. And I definitely do not want that to happen to anybody else. So please watch this oh, video. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you can figure that part out. Because that it hurts. It really hurts. Yeah, yeah. I get that. And other than that, there's uh, there's trolls. Uh, there's a lot of sc tr troll scammers. There's a lot of people in here that try to get stuff from you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how this place works. You either trade, you buy. Sometimes you can type in, hey, I'm buying um, duplicates for 35 mush each. Um, some people are okay with that, and you can just thirty every time a person puts in a creature, you can put thirty-five or whatever what you want to do. What is this building over here that says ten creatures own? Okay, so ten creatures own. So if you just walk up. Can you get in there? Uh, I can't go any further than this. Yeah. So in order for you to come in here, you need to own ten creatures. Okay. So if this is more of just like a private like, yeah, trading area. Yeah, private, because sometimes people want to bother people that are trying to trade certain creatures and it starts to flood um, your site so you can't really see it. Mm -hmm. um, so people tend to go into the towers. This one is a free one. As you can see, there's no title or anything. You can just walk right in. Um, so I don't even go up there. It's going to take, it takes a minute to go up there. Don't, don't do it. Can I jump, just jump right back down? True, but it, it takes a minute. What's up there? <laughs> but uh, nothing. My curiosity grows. It's literally nothing. Um, I'll just go over the other ones. There's a one oh, yeah. for uh, 250 plus mushrooms. So if you have more than 250 mushrooms, then you I can go don't. in this tower. Yeah, so. I leave you. You're like a, a VIP, and I'm just this commoner. I can't even walk <laughs> I'm not in. even that rich. There are people that are richer than me in this okay, game. Wait. I'm trying okay, my hardest we'll, to get mush in this game. Look at me. Look at you. Well, I mean, I actually play this more than you. <laughs> I'm slowly trying to get you more into it. I so. need some good digs. I I'll help you. We'll Ooh, we should help do a video of us go of, uh, going shopping. We should. We shopping. Should. And then this is another normal one. So there's only two towers that require you to have stuff. So 10 creatures, 250 mush. So that's all the, that with that. Oh, this person looks like a tall. They've got skinny legs. They're a Power Ranger. Power Whoa. Ranger. I want to climb over them. What? Nah, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? But yeah, Let's that's... Uh, I believe we went over all the basics, I believe, um, how to get, oh, like, uh, getting mush. Oh, there's also volcanoes. So if there's a volcano eruption, you can also get mush through volcano eruptions. You have to wait until the, uh, volcano is done erupting, and then mushrooms will spawn on top of where the, uh, meteors have landed. So where the meteors okay. had landed, they'll, that, that's, that's another thing. So you can get mush by just playing the game. Five mush every whatever minutes. So I'll, I'll post it again with a picture. Uh, stored. We talk about stored stuff. Food. 
Uh, gone over the basics at this point. Yeah, I think... Now we just have to get into multiplayer and actually collecting and yeah. trading. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, if there's anything, of course, that we've missed or I've missed, you know, y'all guys can write that in the comments. Or any or, questions. Yeah, any questions. or any, If there's any questions that I possibly missed, we can go over it in another video for you guys. So, mm -hmm. if there's anything that you guys need to know, just, just ask and we'll plan on making a video on for that uh, for you. For you, for your babies, for your little babs. So, um, yeah, we're gonna. Hey, your bab. Your bab. For now, my toddler. You, I'm gonna. Yeah, we gonna... learn. Oh yeah, you need to join the the group. Oh, we do have a Roblox group that um that I have made, and um, it's still it's very slow um developing it, but hey, I definitely want to do some stuff with that Roblox group as we you know get more um, I guess. As, as we get bigger, I want to do more stuff. Uh, we, I already do giveaways. Um, I'm slowly doing a little bit more giveaways on different games. Um, I'm hoping to do a giveaway on this one. I might do a giveaway in this one at some point, but we'll see uh, what we'll do. And um, yeah, just you should, you should join our Roblox group. We'll, we'll do the giveaways. Um, whenever we do live streams on Roblox, most likely there will be a, a live giveaway that happens and stuff like that. Um, and, better be there, be yeah. square. Yeah, be square like me. We're be square. Roblox shape. Yeah, Roblox shape. We're square. Uh, but yeah, definitely join. Join our streams whenever we do stuff. Um, you know, just say hi if y'all guys want to. Actually, you know, you don't have to. I just, I'm just talking at this point. <laughs> you're not demanding them. You're just yeah. suggesting yeah, it. If you don't want to say you don't have they can, to. They can you come have and have to... fun. Eat some, yeah. eat some oh, cotton candy. Is just a suggestion. Some tamales. Some, tamales. some, some tamales. I love. Huh? What? You're making me hungry. Stop I'm talking about food. I'm gonna get some food after this. Um, but, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm glad Echo's joining us more in some Roblox videos. So, yay. It's not gonna Bring be just me. Cult. I'm excited uh, to do some more stuff with Echo. I'm so excited. But, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever we have more videos that come out. I hope you have a great day or night, and we will see you in the next video. Laters!